loading up. I've got a bit of an epic defender trip to Uxbridge. So we're going from Truro, taking Tom back to uni. I don't look, he's not left a lot of space for me. <laughs> I've got to get my bags in here somehow. nearly eight get on the road I'm hoping we can be in London and then I can start back straight back again but I'm gonna go via Ashcroft transmissions because I want to go and see them see if they can give me some ideas about what's with the Defender what I need to get fixed so that's gonna be quite interesting long day today though gonna to be a long day just need one time get my big bag in good to go Located Oxbridge, and uh, there till Christmas at least. Oh, his mum's going to be very upset, but he's happy. He's happy so much so that he said, "No, don't help me put the boxes in place. You bugger off and uh, get on your way." I'm like, well, all right, then. I'll, look, I'll leave you to it. So, so that was that. So now, crack on up to Ashcroft Transmissions. See if can. Um, See if I can find out what's going on with this here Defender and the um, and the transfer box. I think I've got an idea what it is. I think it's the final drive, but we'll, we'll see. That's what we want to find out. <laughs> made it, made it, made it. It is flipping warm. 28 degrees it is up here in, uh, in and around London and Luton area at the moment. Uh, and with my transmission it's cooking my leg again. It is, it's just very warm today. But I've made it here on my Ashcroft transmissions and uh, so now I'm hoping I can find somebody to have a chat to and see what they can recommend for the next steps with this. Like I said, lovely folks down here at Ashcroft, or up here at Ashcroft as it is for me. The guys came out, full check over, and uh, there's a plethora of bits. It's not just one thing that needs to be swapped. Surprise, surprise. So I've got a load of things that will need to be switched out. Transfer box, half shafts, diffs, output shafts from the gearbox. Man, I've got my work cut out. Yeah, plan now. Head back home, go and have a look on their website with the details that they've given me, get a bunch of stuff ordered. There's quite a lead time for some of the kit to arrive, at least at least two weeks, but some of the stuff can be through a little bit quicker. But if I'm gonna be doing the output shaft, I may as well wait until the transfer box is there as well, do the two things at the same time. And then the, uh, the half shells I can do, pretty much get those ordered and away, straight away. Um, the rest of them, the diffs, again, those are standard stock. They've got them in, I can order them, they can be with me in a couple of days. Wow, wow, wow. A lot more than others <laughs> intended to spend. <laughs> but it's got to be done, has it? Got to be done. Right, let's crack on. Well, I've got to say, this is bloody lovely. I, I come off the M1, I'm going cross country, heading towards the M40. At least I think I am. Um, map's taking me now towards Banbury. Um, uh, yeah, the country's 
start again. We're just much better than racing at the motorway with nothing for other cars to see. Now, back in the countryside, much better views. Happy to have a high vehicle. Because the hedges around here are bloody high. And with this, I can just about see at the tops of the hedges. See some quite spectacular architecture that's going on in around this place. Really lush. That was a, a nice little stop and go and see my mum. It's a, because she lives so far away, it's such a pain in the arse. And I figured, you know, I was what, hour, hour and three quarters away yesterday, so it's a good opportunity really. Just come that little bit further, come and say hello. But I've also managed to find a few things on Marketplace in and around this area that will sort the studio. So I'm off now. What is it now? Half eight. No, it's not. It's five to eight. And I'm on my way into Birmingham to see if I can pick up a bit of a surprise for Clarabelle. She doesn't know I'm getting this, so it's one she's been after this this certain type of sink. Which doesn't fit with the design that I've been put together. But anyway, I found this sink that she's after here. Absolute bargain price on marketplace, Facebook marketplace. So I've got to go into Birmingham, which is going north of the country before I go south. But I'm going to Birmingham, have a look, so get this sink and then we'll crack on back down south again. <laughs> It's amazing who you bump into when you're round and about. So I'm here picking up these, uh, this bit from Facebook Marketplace and I met this guy called Stevie, right? Now Stevie used to work at Land Rover and he was telling me all the stories about what happened and how, how the Defender came about. It's amazing! So the, uh, the bonnet hood with its, with its raised section. It's actually an error that, that, that they made by making these, these engines that were too, too large for the original bonnet. So what they had to do is they had to make a load of cars, ship them across to Europe without their, their bonnet on, whilst they figured out how to design and make new bonnets for these bigger transit engines. It's at the point that they brought the transit engine in, I should point that out. So he was telling me how, how they did it, how many, they ended up with thousands and thousands of cars without any bonnet in place, stored at various places so that they could, uh, they could then like recover the situation later. They ended up sending a team of people out to Europe to go and fit and retrofit all of the bonnets to these cars. So, it's amazing stuff. Small world, isn't it? Small world. Fascinatingly small world. That's not bad at all. 444 and a half miles on a single tank. Mind you, I have been driving at like 50, 55, and it's been motorways most of the way. But 400, that's gonna be like nine, just on 450 miles. I mean, the, the light is on, right? But I'm still not at the bottom. Look at that. There's still, there's still a, bit of, a bit of room to go. Yeah, not much room, depending on where you're looking at. Right there, it's bugger. No, it's loads. I'm just hoping that, you know, 
it gets moving so I can get in, get some fuel done and crack on back home again. Right, be back on when uh, when I'm back on the motorway, I think. Bravery of history, this train is racing straight ahead. No man can do like I can, I'm the queen of the land. Haters gonna hate, won't be sorry now. Shoot me down, but I'll rise again. I'm laying down the law and you've been saved. Finally, finally back, about 10 minutes left. In the Defender with the Dodger Clunks and Banks. At least now I know what it is that's causing it. Uh, I can now start getting a plan together to get it all sorted and get it fixed. So that was a, quite a successful trip. Managed to get Tom back over to back to uni and up from there went to the to Ashcroft they know their stuff they do but um, I'll be honest with you I wasn't a hundred percent happy it wasn't a hundred percent happy so I did have a bit of an issue with uh, with the jack moving on uh, when I put the car up in the air which then caused an extra dent on the back so that's gonna be another fix that I have to apply. I don't want to add more dents to it I want to start repairing the dents but other than that there's a there's a lot that i found out about it and i'll go through that in a bit more detail next time i start the vendor video so i've got some some good stuff that managed to pick up from marketplace got a a sink that's going to go into the studio and managed to get a uh, a flame torch a flame thrower so that i can use it to to burn the larch wood and scorch that back so that i can get the cladding ready <coughs> there's a there's a process that I'll, and again i'll go through that in more detail when i go through that section of the of the build lastly lastly i've got a cb radio cb radio to go into the truck because you can't have a truck without a cb it's uh it's a thing from back in the day i used to have a cb when i was a kid and uh so i've decided it's gonna gonna go in here and i know that when you go out on a group run there's a lot of the folks there, they use CB radios just to keep in touch with the groups and I plan to be doing that. I've joined up with the with the Falmouth group, which is not too far from here. And uh, so I want to start getting involved with those, but I don't want to get into that until I've got the drivetrain sorted. So, little steps, little steps. Anyway, that's it for now. What a, what a mad couple of days, I'm knackered actually. It's been quite hot driving in the Defender. Um, long old drive i think i've done about 700 miles over the last couple of days so it's quite a quite a heavy lot of driving and uh, but i'm back now and now i'm going to chill so thank you very much for watching and coming along with me for the ride i do hope to see you again very soon my name's rich and this is its adventure mm -hmm.